welcome back to Solomon's Vineyard. It's your brother, the OG, Mr. Russell Mack, and today I'm going to be talking about the newest release from Bond Number no. Nine. Y'all know I love my Bonds, and I'll give you a hint. I rocked it today. Really, really nice fragrance. You know we're getting to closer to the spring time. I think uh, spring starts on the 20th. So I have been dibbling and dabbling with a few bonds, trying to figure out which one I want to be rocking uh, during the springtime. And I think I may have found the one. So if you want to know which one this is, stick around, y'all. Let's get into this preview. Let's go to the other side. to another fragrance preview. This is your boy Russell Mack, the OG, a fragrance enthusiast, a frag collector, and just all around frag guy. I'm glad to be back and I'm feeling good this evening. And today we're going to talk about the newest release from Bond number nine. Let me sniff my coffee. This fragrance came out November of 2020 and Michael L. Merritt is the nose behind this fragrance. He does a lot of fragrances for bar number nine, okay? Uh, listen, if you're new to Solomon's Vineyard, why don't you consider becoming a part of the family? Go ahead on and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, that icon bell down there. You see it? For all frag notifications, okay? Don't forget to like the video. I need them likes now. Uh, I, I need you to share it, and I need your comments, your sin of the day. Uh, if, if you would, I would love to know what you're rocking what you, what you got new, what you're wearing, what you're loving right now. You know it's, it's coming down to the springtime. The weather's getting real nice. <clears throat> so I have been messing with these bonds, okay? If you uh, check the channel out, I did a preview on Tribeca on uh, a day ago, all right? So if you haven't looked at it, it's still posted up. Go check it out. It's a really, really nice fragrance. Smells kind of like Baccarat Rouge 540. Y'all, it's really good, okay? And this one is no different. The fragrance I'm talking about is My New York. It came out in 2020, all right? So this is the one I rocked today. And Lord, it is so pretty. Hmm, this is a unisex house, as you know. Uh, bond number nine creates fragrances, uh, you know, based on places or things or, uh, you know, the, the uh, should I say, the feeling of New York. And so if you haven't been to New York, get a couple of these fragrances, a couple of these samples, and you can kind of get an idea of what's happening and what's going down in New York. But they need, they need to do uh, some of, of some of the other places, uh, the hood, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, just having a little fun, y'all. Let's get into this fragrance preview, and I'm going to go and hit it and quit it, all right? We're talking about My New York. Straight up, it just has the name, My New York. Uh, this fragrance, and I'm going to put the notes up, um, you have ginger, all right? Spicy, mm, ginger, pink pepper, and I'm gonna, let me spray something for you. Let me find a little hole there. All right, so I can re be reminded of the opening. Okay. My God, you have you have Elamai, which is a resin. So this is a resinous fragrance. It's classified as an oriental floral fragrance. And then you got rose. It doesn't say whether or not it's uh, Turkish or Bulgarian, but it is rose. You, you you're gonna know it's rose also. Okay. Then you have a, a bed of woods or a woody foundation. You have uh, sandalwood with musk and you have cashmere on, okay? There's another note there in the heart. Um, what's that, that, that other note there with that rose to live? Rose and papyrus. Oh, yeah, papyrus there, okay? And we've heard about papyrus a lot and we've heard about cashmere on, and we've heard about elamide. Those are the notes that I want to basically focus on in this fragrance. The main accord from this fragrance is going to be your rose. Now, the rest of the notes uh, supports this beautiful rose heart. The papyrus is there. You have the cashmere on, and of course, alumina and pink pepper, so you get all of that. Okay, now, the 
the cashmeron, it, it's well known, it's known as a synthetic note that gives off a musky or leathery, okay, or woody vibe. The, the uh, LMI, it gives you a, a resiny, a resin, it's a resin, it gives you a resiny feel, that of the smell, I think they said, was that of pine and lemon, okay? So picture that, picture those notes coming together, supporting this beautiful, beautiful rose. I'm going to tell you, between the LMI and the cashmeron and the papyrus, it makes the rose actually smell like oud in the opening. It's only when the fragrance begin to open up or begin to blossom is when you really get the fullness of the rose, okay? The papyrus, the cashmeron add depth and power and strength. So does the elemi. It gives it airiness, okay? It makes it have a bold opening. Wow. You get the creaminess and the dry down right over here. I've had this on my wrist now for about three hours, okay? Uh, well, me and my girl went out this evening and I've been gone for a while. So what I did, I sprayed it on my wrist, okay? Uh, of course, it's on my body too. <clears throat> but I'm really picking up the, that sandalwood and, the, and that musk. So you got musk running all through this fragrance. Classy, elegant. This is a really elegant fragrance. What a signature. I, I, be, I believe the name My New York. We can, we can associate that with a signature fragrance from the Bond House. Absolutely lovely. Elegant fragrance. Okay, this is one you can wear definitely fall, spring, and I would say you can even get away with it in summer. Um, mm, definitely unisex, but I would say because of the rose, women, you're going to love it. Okay, men, if you are rose lovers, you'll love it. Okay, and I think even if you're not a rose lover, you put your nose on this, it's going to impress you. This fragrance is a room filler. It will make a great first impression. It does and will get compliments. I got stopped several times tonight when I when we went into the mall here at, in Louisiana. The mall of Louisiana. And my girl had me toting her purse and toting her bags. But I was still smelling good and people wanted to know what I was rocking. And it felt good that nobody in the mall, now, although I didn't meet everybody, but I did talk to a lot of people tonight. And none of them had on bond, okay? Beautiful fragrance. Yeah, it's, it's one that I would say is versatile. You can rock it with uh, uh, a suit and tie. I could see that. Or you can go casual. Ladies, you can do this with a nice evening dress or an all-purpose dress is what I call it. When one, you can wear to, wear to work, church, and to the club, and, to, and then to the bingo hall. That's all-purpose. Uh, you can rock this just running errands, or you can rock this going to the White House. However you want to do it, you can do it. This is one that I would say lasts, it's going to last you, okay? It lasts me all evening. You're definitely going to get six to eight hours, okay? Because of this rose, the LMI, and, and the cashmeron, okay? You know all, all about the sandalwood and musk. You know what musk does, and this does have a beautiful, beautiful musk. But the supporting, the, those are su supporting accords. The note that you really will smell is this beautiful rose heart. Lovely, lovely fragrance, okay? Um, unique smelling, yes. I, I will say that this is unique. But Michael L. Merrick, being that we know he's created a lot of fragrances, I'm sure there's a fragrance that probably smells like this, but I can't think of it right now, okay? Gorgeous. It, it, this has the same rose that my uh, my toy boy has. Uh, I would have to look at it again to see what that rose is, but it does have it. I can tell it. I know it. I'm used to smelling it. It's great. Beautiful spring. Right now, spring and summer is coming. This will work miracles in the spring air. Uh, definitely because it's a flower or flo it's a oriental floral. This is a fragrance, fellas and ladies, that I believe anybody around you will love, even your enemy. You ain't got to fight them. You ain't got to argue with them. You ain't got to get mad. Just throw, spray this on your neck and go walk past them. That's going to do the job, all right? So this has been my preview. Oh, absolutely gorgeous, y'all. Listen, when I first smelled this, I, I smelled this when uh, it came out. When it first came out, I was over at Kiki smelling it, and it almost kind of gave me the New York Oud vibe. And I think that's what they were going for. But this is certainly 
uh, a fragrance that stand on its own. No oud is in this, and if it is, they're not listing it. But it's incredible, incredible fragrance. I would rock this mainly in the evening time, okay? But you do what you want, you spend your money. We know bar number nine is high. In fact, they go up a couple of dollars every year, okay? So you do it how you want to do it, okay? So I'm finished, y'all. Tomorrow, I will announce the winner of the full bottle, the 2.5 bottle of uh, Dolce & Gabbana Intenso, all right? That's all of my announcements. You guys take care of yourself. I love you guys so much. God bless you. You're always in my prayers and in my heart, okay? Y'all take care of yourself. I'm going to eat me a burger now. <laughs> Peace, my beautiful Frag family. Peace.